So this is the uh, Hakifu Education Center. So we have a field trip. And it looks like they just uh, maybe uh, petted the animals. This is a petting zoo. You can see straight ahead, we see uh, our, our donkey, we call Sweet Pea. We see Maha, the mini horse. We see some sheep. We got uh, some other animals. So the children like to come here. They learn all about our farming and our, our fishing. We're water shrimp ponds. And we're raising Pacific white shrimp. Delicious, nice sized shrimp like for cocktail. So these are fresh and salt water ponds, mountain water and ocean water. They hang out on those docks. We uh, use those docks to uh, uh, throw traditional Hawaiian uh, throwing, round throwing heads to harvest the shrimp. And if we have any shrimp plovers here, and we have, uh, we'll pull in close to three or more thousand pounds of shrimp a year. It's from these little ponds. And then straight ahead is the laboratory where the biologists keep an eye on all the things they need to watch, like the bacteria levels in the water and when to put the shrimp fry, the larvae into the pond. They'll raise the shrimp pot fry from uh, larvae in those tanks over there. Then here in these concrete baths, we have tilapia. We have some tilapia in these ponds too. Has anybody tried tilapia? We got, we're gonna try some poi. Never tried poi, we had some sample. The whole plant is edible, the leaves, the stem. They use this, the leaves for traditional Hawaiian favorites like lao lao and squid, squid luau. And also the stems are used for like a side dish like asparagus. So we're gonna see all that coming up if we can get through this spooky board. We have a uh, typical hale, hale ba'a. A hale is a house or structure. Uh, that is a outrigger canoe, which a canoe is called a Baja. Coconut trees here. Does anybody know how to husk a coconut? <laughs> this Kaneohe Bay is the largest sheltered bay in the state of Hawaii. It's considered sheltered because of the coral reef system. So nice Mexican avocados on those trees. On the left we have ulu trees. Ulu is better known as breadfruit. You can try breadfruit or ulu. So that'll get like a big, like a big cantaloupe, and there's, it's a super food. It's super nutritious. Probably the most highest potassium. Food. When they get big and they, they ripen, you just peel the skin back and it's like this spongy orange and it tastes just like delicious bread. Spongy. And you can put it in your oven with the skin on it and bake it and it'll come out like a bread. And there's lots of ways you can cook the ulu when they get nice size. You can, you can skin the ulu and steam it and then cut it up and quarter it into chunks and then fry it in butter and then put coconut milk on it. Oh my god, it's like French toast. Like the best soap. It's really good and it's actually very filling. Okay, so this is a small breadfruit. Now, um, they use this, you can see they use it for a lot of things, They're not just food. They use the wood uh, for building things. They use the sap for uh, sealing their canoes so that when they made their wooden canoes if they, they would seal it with the sap and that children like to uh, use the breadfruit leaves they play games like tag uh, the, the, the underside of the leaf is, is a little coarse they use it for like sandpaper when they're making their canoes or, or their paddles so they don't get splinters they smooth the wood so the kale maybe a week and a half two weeks ago it was about this tall and it was really beautiful and so now they just planted that and they start they they don't go from seed they start with starter plants like under that shade house they, they do the starter plants so when they start things with starter plants they grow faster so, so more carrots oh we have uh, eggplant over there more uno they have um, uwala. Anybody know what uwala is? No. We call it uwala, it's sweet potato. We got that. So let's head on back. We'll, we'll try some samples under under the lanai there, okay? We got some cold water for you guys, some samples. Just watch out for the puaha poop. 
You dip the fish, right? I mean, yeah. Oh, tilapia. Oh, you see? Okay, I'll put a bit of a Yeah, you know. Oh, see? Does anybody, I don't speak the language, but does anybody know why there's fish under here and what we're doing with it? It's a, a cycle. It's like the cycle of life. The fish, the tilapia eat the algae that grows, then they poop in the water. The water is fertilizer for the plants uh, and it's like a cycle. Pretty cool, right? 